<laughs> I think you're talking about regional beers. This is a good time to get into this. The purpose of this podcast, or one of the purposes of it, is I like I want to pr- uh, promote the craft beverage industry in this region. I think it's some of the best in the nation, moving toward being some of the best in the world. Uh, but my background is mostly in wine. Uh, and so when I get to t- a chance to speak to brewers and people in the brewing industry, I like to pick their brain on for not things I certainly do, just don't know. And I hear people talk about West Coast IPAs and talk about New England IPAs. But what about this region? Is there a style? See, I'm waiting to hear about a mid-Atlantic something or a Virginia something or a Maryland something. Is there a style or something that it has either been is coming together here or do you see something that you think might be mm. we might be known for that's really interesting so um i i i can't say right now that this region is known for a style mm-hmm. but um maryland virginia kind of the, the mid-atlantic region mm-hmm. is starting to plant more and more hops um Actually, we did this 100% Virginia source series. We're still doing it called For Lovers. Um, and uh, with talking to one of our Virginia hop farmers, uh, I asked him, what is, you know, do you notice any climate differences in, in how the hops are turning out? Um, he said he was getting like way more fruity versions of the same varietals of hops. So it, it's possible that... Um, as you know more and more hop farming becomes normal in the mid-atlantic region that we might have kind of a distinct uh flavor of those hops uh, and that could become maybe the the mid-atlantic ipa who knows